and the two worlds of this cold, severe weather. A winter wonderland here in Aberdeen yesterday, but yes, disruption is likely again. Icy roads across northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, and even the chance of some snow in the south. Animals. I don't know if you saw this amazing video yesterday. This is a gorilla at Belfast. I just think all of the animals waking up who haven't seen snow before thinking, crikey, what is that? But yeah, lots of scenes of Winter Wonderland, all the way from Shetland, which... Yeah, sure you can. There we go. I think it's the feet we're after, this isn't is... it? Yeah, oh. there we go. So this, is, go. this is genuinely the safest way, probably without heels. You've got to move your hips more. OK. Yeah. You've got to have your feet better. wider apart. <laughs> <laughs> now Charlotte's an expert. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's, there's a serious feet and uh, staying close to the Ooh. centre of gravity. Do you think the gorillas... I, I, mean? I don't know. They but I know they can make a mean snowball. Do you think the gorillas look at the penguins and think... We almost got there with the explanation. Brilliant. <laughs> That's it. Right. We also have a Scotland and even five to ten centimetres across northern England. But I wanted to teach you a new word. Yesterday, if you didn't have the snow, you probably had the gorgeous sunshine. And the word for beautiful winter sunshine is apricity. So apricity means the warmth of the sun on your face in the winter time. It dates back to 1623. That's when it first appeared in the dictionary. No other country in the world has a word for the warmth of the sun on your face in winter. And it, only the Oxford English Dictionary is the only dictionary in the world to, world to include this word. So apricity, the warmth of the winter sun on your face. And there'll be plenty of it on offer today. So today you'll either have more apricity, sun on your face, or more snow showers because the air continues to drive in from the Arctic, pushing down. But still, this mild air flirting with the south coast and there's still a risk of snowfall today. If the cold is too much for you, these are today's top temperatures, a huge climb into the weekend with temperatures way above average. These are the areas like to see snow today. Again, the far northwest, the far south, a chance of snow. But tomorrow it is confined to coastal areas of northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. For today, it is more of the same winter sunshine in the south and frequent showers in the north. So this is our ban of rain watching with great interest. The closer it gets, bumping into the cold, there's the chance of snow, but at the moment it looks like it's just the far south of the Kent coast. Elsewhere, gorgeous winter sunshine, feeling that apricity on our face, but snow showers across these northern areas of Scotland and Northern Ireland, nowhere near as much snow as yesterday, two to five centimetres in the north, but yet again, the wind making it feel bitingly cold and sub-zero. It remains bitterly cold yet again today, but less snow than Today, the source region of our air is still the North Pole, heading all the way down across the country. But this battleground is set. We've been talking about it all week long. Mild air to the south, bumping into the cold air. There's the risk of snow and it's leading edge through southern areas of England, but just a tiny, narrow area. I'll have more on that in just a moment. These are the areas likely to see snow as we head through the coming days. But first, here's today's temperatures and here's where it could be by Sunday. So if this cold weather is just too much for you, it turns milder but wetter this weekend. So today, the snow risk remains across northern areas, but a tiny risk along the far south of England. And for tomorrow, with a northerly flow, it is coastal showers that are likely. Today, like yesterday, the south has the best of the sunshine, but northern areas have some frequent snow showers. So... The showers are not as widespread or as heavy as those we had yesterday. It is northern Scotland, northern Ireland that will see these showers moving in. But here's that band of rain right along the south coast. The risk of some snowfall on the leading edge, most likely in Kent. Temperature-wise, hovering just a few degrees either side of freezing. But when you add in the wind chill, it will feel sub zero. So let's see how things pan out as we head through the next seven days. So we look at Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England. We've been in the grips of this cold weather so far this week and it lasts all week long with temperatures below average. But as the weekend arrives, so those temperatures climb way above average, but then we have a big change in type. So with percentage chance of rainfall and the type of weather for the next few days is sunshine and wintry showers. But then from the weekend onwards, it transitions to milder but wetter and windier, potentially even on next name storm. Fortunes further south of England and Wales for the next seven days. Our trend shows us very nicely cold, sub-zero, but temperatures climbing as we head into the weekend and next week. Percentage chance of rainfall, hit and miss showers, most likely dry enjoying that winter sunshine on our face, the apricity, but then turning wet and windy into next week.